Namaste and blessings to you. Namaste. Welcome to session eight. And this is a powerful mantra because it's the first mantra from the Isha Upanishad. The words are Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate. So maybe you notice that the word Purnam comes in many forms in this mantra over and over again. There's many ways to translate this word. It's really the absolute, it's the whole, it's perfect, it's the real, it's the complete. The translation of this mantra is, that is the absolute, this is the absolute. From the absolute, the absolute becomes manifest. When the absolute is added or taken away from the absolute, the absolute remains. So the understanding here is that we are part of the divine and by being part of the divine, we are no less than the divine. The divine is whole, the divine is everything. Every one of us is a microcosm within ourselves, complete and whole and still part of the whole perfect and divine. We have to uh, return to the basic understanding of the mantra practice that all the mantras have various ways to lead us into the understanding that all is one. And once we begin to get a glimpse of the oneness of all things, then we begin to understand that if we're part of the whole, then the whole must be part of us. God is the whole. So it brings us to the understanding that in each and every living being there is the experience of godliness. And it's godliness or another word for godliness is, of course, inner peace, where we understand ourselves to be at one with the universe. So you're welcome to let this mantra be sung to you, chanted to you, and for you to sit with your eyes closed and receiving those ancient, powerful, sacred sounds that have this deep meaning. You will hear on the excerpt of the music that we will play for you, uh, a voice speaking on the Upanishads and on, on Purnam. And uh, this is our Guruji Osho. And uh, it was taken from a live discourse in Buddha Hall in Pune, where we sat with him for many years. Sitting with our back straight, in a relaxed and comfortable and present position and enjoy the journey.
This is one of the most significant statements ever made anywhere on the earth at any time. It contains the whole secret of mystic approach towards life. This Ismal Sutra contains the essence of the Upanishadic vision. Neither before nor afterwards the vision has been transcended. It is still remains the Everest of human consciousness, and there seems to be no possibility to go beyond it. The Upanishadic vision is that the universe is a totality, indivisible, it is an organic whole. The parts are not separate. We are all existing in a togetherness. The trees, the mountains, the people, the birds, the stars, however far away they may appear, 
Don't be deceived by the appearance. They are all interlinked, all bridged. Even the smallest blade of grass is connected to the farthest star, and it is as significant as the greatest sun. Nothing is insignificant, nothing is is smaller than anything else. The part represents the whole. Just a reminder to stay with our eyes closed and our bodies still. No movement, no mind, nothing is needed in this space. Just the perfection of who we are, just the way we are. Let's take a deep breath in the belly. Let's open our eyes. Just look around the room, holding that space of centeredness within and meeting the world from that space of feeling absolutely complete within ourselves. Enjoy your day. All blessings to you. Namaste. Namaste.